Welcome. I'm the Queen of Kingsbury, and for today's book review on January 5th, 2022, I chose the book Kings and Queens of England and Scotland. This book was written by Planetangent Somerset Fry. I looked up that name because I didn't know how to pronounce it, and this is what Google said how to pronounce it. Plantagenet. Plantagenet. So it's Plantagenet Somerset Fry. Uh, the author was born Peter George Robin Fry. He's a British historian and author of more than 50 books. My guess is, uh, for fun, he changed his name to um, reflect his profession because um, Plantagenet means relating to the English royal dynasties. So when I first bought this book, I felt like I was uh, like it was never read or opened. Uh, I felt it was a true bargain. I purchased it from our local used bookstore, um, Half Price Books, for five ninety nine. It's a hardcover book with a beautiful jacket, like brand new. Um, so it's beautiful color. It has that shiny paper that lasts well. Um, shows the, the monarch's uh, crown and the binding. Kings and Queens of England and Scotland. And a beautiful uh, back cover, too, featuring Henry VIII, of course. So, um... That is the cover, and then much to my surprise, the actual book was printed in the same manner, which is so beautiful. I just love the quality of this book. It has the exact same information, front and back, beautifully kept. I really do feel nobody has read it, and if they did, they leafed through it very carefully. It's like brand new. So let's read. Let's read the back cover. Okay, Kings and Queens of Scotland and England. Britain's monarchs brought to life through contemporary portraits, artifacts, paintings, and photographs. Visual guide, illustrated biographies document the public and private lives of the royal dynasties of England and Scotland. British history, year by year, chronicalizes uh, Chronologies reveal the major events of each monarch's reign, while family trace, trees trace the royal lineage and claim to the throne of each royal house. Comprehensive coverage. This is the essential handbook to the life and times of every king and queen of England and Scotland, from the Anglo-Saxon kings to the present-day House of Windsor. So, let's start. Um, there's the beautiful purple um, cover page. That's the title page. Coats of arms of the royal houses. And it starts off by telling the, the contents. And the contents are organized, and I think it's a beautifully organized book, by the houses of the kings and queens. It starts with the first English kings, early Saxon kings, Alfred the Great, Saxons and Vikings, the Age of Connaught. The next chapter is the Normans, William I, William II, Henry I, Stephen. The Plantagenets, Henry II, all the way through Richard II. House of Lancaster, Henry IV, through Henry the Sixth, House of York, Edward the Fourth through Richard the Third, the Tudors, Henry the Seventh through Elizabeth the First, the Kings and Queens of Scotland. It addresses the conflict with England and goes up to uh, later Stuarts, and then the Stuarts, starting with James the First, ending with Anne. 
the Hanoverians, starting with George I and ending with Edward VII. The House of Windsor, starting with George V and up till now, uh, this book covers up to, of course, Elizabeth II, who reigns now. And I guess it talks a little bit about future kings, who it would be um, the Prince of Wales and Prince William. So let's see. Go to page 79. This is how the book is set up. It's really a beautiful um, reference book. Every chapter begins with a lovely family tree of that house. This is the Normans. And then for, say, William I, they give the events of his reign. William II, events of his reign. With the artwork and the biography about each of the king or queen. See, every section is uh, laid out that same way. So the House of York starts with the family tree. And then each king and queen has the same layout. Wonderful information. So I marked down page 79. Here, George the First. This is the Hanoverians. So in the beginning of his house, they give a wonderful family tree. And we turn to George the Third. They have the um, a synopsis, his early politics, how he was deemed unfit to rule, and then the events of his reign, a biography, and a beautiful portrait. He was known as the Mad King. Looks like some good reading. Let's see. And of course, maybe the most famous and beloved Hanoverian queen would be Queen Victoria. Here's a picture of her, the older queen, in her black mourning clothes. And they have about her life, her private grief, the affection of the nation, her biography, and then the events of her reign laid out there. Let's go back to see what would be fun to look at. This is Henry VIII, the Tudors. So this chapter would start with the Tudors family tree. And he is after seventh, he's Henry VIII. And of course, another one of the most famous kings of England. We have his biography along his portrait, very famous portrait, and the events of his reign. Let's see. Of course, Mary the First, her biography, her portrait, events of the reign, she was infamously known as Bloody Mary. Talks about here the cruel queen. While Mary's strong Catholic faith gave her a great sense of purpose, it also made her obstinate and narrow-minded. Many cruelties were perpetuated in her name in order to restore England to Catholicism. This portrait of Mary I was painted by Master John in 1554. So here, the inside jacket. I always like to read this when I first start a book. 
um, it helps me understand how what the book was, how the book was written, and why it was written. So I'll read the, the inside jacket for you. Kings and queens, and the long and tangled history of the British Isles, one thread runs continuously for nearly twelve hundred years in almost unbroken descent from Eckbert, the first Saxon king of England, to in 829 to Charles, Prince of Wales, the upcoming coming, um, monarch. It has been presented at almost every stage, molding events and making news. Kings and Queens is the essential guide to the kings and queens of England and Scotland, their families, courtiers, and friends. The parallel history of the Scottish monarchy from Kenneth McAlpin in 843 to James the sixth in sixteen o three is described in detail, while events in Wales and Ireland are also featured. Chronology boxes reveal the major events of each monarch's reign, and at a glance family trees show the line of succession to the throne over the centuries. So the back inside sleeve, I'll read that to you also. That is about the author, Plantagenet Somerset Fry, traced his descent back to Edward the Third, one of the Plantagenet's kings. Well, that might explain too why he took up that name. He is the author of more than fifty history books. The first of which was published when he was an undergraduate at Oxford during the mid nineteen fifties. Among his many books are the standard work of British castles, a major work on Roman Britain, histories of Scotland and Ireland, written with his wife Fiona Somerset Fry, and the best-selling history of the world. He was the first editor of books at Her Majesty's Stationery Office and a senior member of Wolfson College, Cambridge. Plantagenet Somerset Fry died in 1996. So, let's see. Let's finish the review off with um, looking at Queen Elizabeth, our current monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. She's featured there in a beautiful gown, maybe a state visit. It doesn't um, have a description of the photograph, but as you can see, she's wearing she's wearing the Vladimir tiara with the pearls and Queen Victoria's golden jubilee necklace of diamonds and pearls, which we see so often at formal events and state visits. <clears throat> so, I have to give this book a thumbs up. I love it. I uh, It's another wonderful reference book that you can just pick up any time and uh, read about the kings and queens of England and Scotland. I would also recommend it as a reference book for official reports, essays, papers you need to write. <clears throat> so if you've enjoyed any part of this video, please like, subscribe, share, and press the notification bells. If you have comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions, of a book you would like me to review, please put it in the comment section too, and I'll do my best to accommodate. I'm the Queen of Kingsbury. Have a wonderful day.